assalamu alaikum dear students how are you i hope you all are fine uh, my name is nabila and i am your science teacher today we are going to start our first lesson from the first unit that is living things depend upon each other and uh, this is the first part of your first lesson and in this lesson we are going to study about photosynthesis what is photosynthesis in simple words we can say that plant makes their own food this process is called photosynthesis it means that the process through which plant make their food is known as photosynthesis this process takes place in plants leaves and it is a series of reaction that occurs in plant cells and the third uh, characteristics or you can say the third main uh, thing of photosynthesis is that it is a conversion of light energy in, uh, and it provides chemical energy and it is the basis of almost all food chain so we can define photosynthesis as a process used by plants to convert light energy normally from the sun into chemical energy so it is a process through which plant usually convert uh, light energy that they are uh, getting from the sun into the chemical energy look at this slide in this slide you can see a plant and through this uh, slide you can understand that how photosynthesis is taking place in any plant these are the plant leaves and photosynthesis are uh, food is being prepared in this part of the plant leaves gets carbon dioxide from the environment and light from the sun and they get water and minerals from the soil with the help of all these things they prepare the food which is stored in the plant uh, different plant parts and that food is in the form of glucose or you can say carbohydrates and the uh, oxygen is being released during this process now the question raises that where does photosynthesis occur photosynthesis occurs in the leaves of a plant remember this thing dear student that photosynthesis always occurs in the green part of the plant and that green part of the plant are the leaves of the plant or uh, why the plants uh, have green leaves because leaves are green because they contain the pigment chlorophyll chlorophyll is actually the green color substance that is present in the plant's leaf and it is the chlorophyll which traps the energy from sunlight and turns the carbon dioxide and water into sugar and other carbohydrates which are plant's food and leaves have a large surface area to absorb as much light as possible usually leaves are wide and uh, broad so that they can absorb as much light as possible so that they can easily prepare food for the plant now this is the equation for photosynthesis this is the chemical equation uh, which is describing the process of photosynthesis Uh, through this equation we can uh, easily describe the process of photosynthesis that carbon dioxide and water 
plants takes carbon dioxide from the environment and water from the soil and sun energy in the presence of chlorophyll that is present in the plant leaves plant makes sugar and oxygen the chemical uh, formula for sugar is c6h12o6 and for oxygen is o2 now this sugar is uh, being stored in the different parts of the plant and oxygen released as the waste product during the photosynthesis. This is very important point that you should remember that waste product of photosynthesis is oxygen. Now look at this slide. In this slide, uh, this slide shows that how photosynthesis is occurred in a leaf. Sunlight enters the leaf and water enters from the stem through here while carbon dioxide enters through the stomata. Actually stomata are the small holes under the leaf. These are the small pores through which carbon dioxide is being entered into the leaf. And with the uh, help of sunlight and uh, water and in the presence of uh, chlorophyll, plant prepare their food and that food is sent to other part of the plant through uh, this, uh, through the stem and oxygen comes out through the stomata. Stomata where carbon dioxide is entering from the same holes, oxygen comes out and that oxygen is used by the other living things. How much glucose does a plant make? Usually plant make enough glucose to be used during the night and on cloudy days when they don't get sunlight. That extra glucose is stored in the plant leaves and other parts and plant use that extra uh, food in the form of glucose during the night when there is no sunlight and on the cloudy days when they don't get sunlight. Most leaves are flat so that they can absorb as much light as possible. They also have a network of veins that carry water and minerals. In this picture, you can see that this leaf has a network of veins. You can see these are the veins in this leaf and these veins are used to carry water and minerals from the uh, plant, plants different parts. The, uh, the veins also carry the sugar and other carbohydrates away to the other part of the plant where they are needed. So these veins are very important for the transportation of water and minerals. Uh, now dear students, it's time for your homework. Your homework uh, is that question number one is define photosynthesis. You have to write the definition of photosynthesis. And question number two is that what is chlorophyll? This is your homework. Do your homework neat and clean. And thank you so much and have a nice day. May God bless you all. And Allah Hafiz.